Hey everybody, it's Goody Parade, and today I have the two remaining dolls for the Great Scarier Reef collection. I've got Draculaura here and Claudine Wolf here. I believe they're Walmart exclusives. That's where I found them. That's the only place I've seen them. As you can see, Draculaura has some crazy eye stuff going on there, as well as some very colorful hair, some sort of yellow wings and then this amazing body that looks like it has black tentacles around the bottom. I'm very anxious to see what that's all about. It says they glow in the dark just like the other dolls in this series do. And there's a beautiful cartoon of Draculaura and it shows this village behind her in the Great Scarier Reef. I guess it's her yellow wings that glow. And here is the picture of Claudine that we have. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these. Here's gorgeous Claudine. Look at her purple skin. It is just beautiful. She still has a little brown hair, but with some pretty colors in there. And then she has this kind of green, shiny, shimmery, pearlescent chains around her. And uh, it looks like she's got those fold-out fins on the bottom that help her balance. She glows in the dark as well. Let's see. Yeah, just what I was thinking. It's the fins on the side of her and maybe part of her tail. And that drawing is so adorable. Really, really cute artwork to go with the movie. Only thing I'm bummed about is I saw a little clip of the movie and it looked like Gil was in it a lot. And it would have been so cool if they would have put out a boy doll to go with this set. But nonetheless, I'm grateful and super duper happy to have these two here. So I'm going to get to opening. Here I go. All right, they are out, and that was pretty easy. Let's see, we've got Draculaura here, and I'm gonna straighten out her tentacles here, which are adjustable, they can swivel out. And then she has like this jellyfish looking thing here. It looks like you could light it up or something. It's very interesting looking. It reminds me of Ursula from the Little Mermaid. She's got spots and bats on her body. She has this adorable little uh, tunic top and these yellow wings that glow. And then her beautiful hair, it's pink and yellow and black. And then this makeup or fire or birthmarks or tattoos around her eyes are just stunning. And her lips seem to be extra, extra hot pink. She also has this spiral around her neck, and she also has a spiral uh, bracelet on. All right, I'm gonna put her there for now. We'll, we can still look at her more, but let's get to gorgeous Claudine. Wow, I love the purple skin. So pretty. She has an earring here. It looks like her hair is caught in it a little tiny bit. I can fix that up later. She has some of her brunette brown hair, but she's got the purple and the green streaking through it up in a ponytail. And she just looks gorgeous, really pretty makeup. Her eyebrows a little bit different, has like a little, I don't know what you'd call it, a little purple lips. And then she's got these really neat fins on her forearms that remind me a lot of Laguna. And I think Frankie actually had some real similar to that too. And then this is what I'm really interested in. It's kind of chains, but beautiful with all these stones hanging and it's really pearlized, really glistening. She has a one sleeved tunic blouse that velcros up the back on. And then here are her glowy fins on the side and it looks like they move around quite a bit. It looks almost like they're on a ball joint or something. Maybe they just swing. Maybe they just kind of swing around. Really cute. And then there's her body. And then these beautiful pearl 
tail again that goes with the necklace. So I'm going to see if, if she can stand on it when it's closed together like that. Oh, she can. So that makes her really tall. That's really cool. I love these mermaid versions. I can't wait to see the Great Scarier Reef movie. So Draculaura looks a little bit shorter than Claudine with Claudine's big tall fins up like that. So also Claudine's you could put down more. I was going to say for more stability, but I think she's actually more stable when they're pushed together like that. It makes kind of a square. Okay, so I wonder if there's a way you could put her... I was gonna say bend the tentacles in a different way to make them pop them up more, but you can't. I love her little mermaid butt. <laughs> He's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's that. So we have Claudine and Draculaura as mermaids for the Great Scarier Reef. I'm gonna go ahead and surround them with their other Scarier Reef friends because I do have all the rest of them, unless of course they do bring out more. So I have Kala Marie, put over here, and I have Perry and Pearl, and we'll put them over there, and Posea, I was just getting a look at her again today, I just love her profile and her funky little nose, for whatever reason she reminds me of a seahorse. <laughs> and then we have the Laguna, she's got a big fin, so I don't want her to fall over. We've got Toralai, the lionfish, which I've learned it is a lionfish she looks like, although it's funny that the lionfish looks like a tiger, <laughs> to say it. And then finally in the collection we have Miss Frankie Stein. Okay guys, that's the whole collection. Be sure to subscribe and bye for now.